leaky infections, the infections that drive not only anxiety, depression, all the brainy stuff, but all chronic disease. The immune system is involved in all chronic disease. So these infections get in basically with cloaking devices. They hide from your immune system. Thus, you don't get the fever and the things that you associate an infection with. But they hide, and over months, years, and decades, they just create more and more and more inflammation. Now, depending on which infection gets in, they go to different body parts. Some love to go to the brain, create all the brainy things. What infections am I talking about? Steam bar virus, Coxsackie virus, herpes virus 6, chlamydia trachomatis, not sexually transmitted chlamydia, different kind of bacteria, mycoplasma, all the tick-borne diseases, and the tick-borne diseases are so much more common than we give them credit for. 80% of people that get bit by a tick don't ever know they got bit by a tick. And then the gut. The gut is the ultracentral mechanism in all this. If all these areas haven't been thrown off already, once the gut gets thrown off, it throws off all these other guys, including because 80% of the immune system surrounds the gut, you get these chronic, sneaky infections. Because of course, the gut is the second brain. Wait, no, I messed up again. The brain is the second gut. No, wait, well, what is it? Who's in charge? Is the gut in charge? Is the brain in charge? I'm gonna let you decide. Let me give you some information.